folks. In today's video, we'll be fishing with a hair jig. Uh, the water's a little cool because they've been dumping water out of the lake above us, Kerr Lake, and it's been cooling the water on the main channel. I've been fishing off the main channel in pockets. Let's go see how well the hair jigs work. I'll tell you one thing, he hit that hair jig like he owned it. Isn't that a big one? Great time, big old pumpkin seed. I can't resist the old hair jig, can I? He's a baby though. This one's got the, this one's got a, Moss body and I got a black and white tail on it and a little bit of green sparkle in it. Flasher boots what we call it. Guys, it's the first time this year I done a video on my hair jigs with a float back when the water was cold. Now this is the first time this year oops, that I've done a video <laughs> had a bite right there and just made a bad cast. I don't know what that was. Uh, but I've done a video on fishing docks and stuff with the hair jigs so they're hard to skip. They don't skip easy. But the fishing's been tough today, so there's a go GoPro. You're on. I forget this one out. The GoPro's got you this time, buddy. She's on. You know, I'm so used to making the GoPro come on. I was gonna tell the GoPro come on, and I forgot that I was talking to you. But uh, sometimes you got to change up, guys. And that's why I switched to a hair jig this evening. It's uh, that's a nice crappy. Let me get this. What do y'all think of that one? And boy, did he smoke that hair jig. What do y'all think of that one? He's a decent one. He's probably 11, maybe 12. He's in that area, 11 to 12. I can get pretty close without measuring them. Guys, I don't like to stop and measure every crappy. I'm sure y'all don't either. That's why I guess I'm going to go on. I can get pretty close. All right, get back up under there. They're in the shade, guys, that's what they're doing. It's 80 degrees. Actually, the air temperature is 80, 88, I think it said earlier. When I left my house, so it's a little bit less than that now because it's evening time, right? Water temperature is 80 right here, surface temperature. It's the hottest it's been this year. And these crappy are going to move back deep just a matter of time. These are just remnants that haven't moved to their, you know, to their summer, summer holding place. There's another small one. Guys, they're getting hard to come by, I'm telling you. Ah, gosh, guys, that got off. That got off the old hair jig, a little hand jig that I tied myself. Guys, I'm working it just like you would a plastic bait. I'm just pitching it out there like that. I got two pound line. I'll go through, back through all those guys at the end. Of, and I'm just letting it sink so, and I'm watching my line what enters the water. And when that line, it's coming toward me. When it comes to me a little bit, I just I bounce it just a little bit. Warn I would a piece of plastic. Then I let it I let it sink again. Then I just every once in a while I just pick up on it. I'm trying to keep it off the bottom. I'm trying to keep let it sink. It's uh, 14 foot right here. I'm trying to get it down to about eight nine foot. Then when I think she's close back to me, I pick it and throw it again. That's all I'm doing. Okay. That's all you got to do with a hair jig. That's tail, every time it moves in the water, that tail just like a piece of plastic, it moves, it sways. And every time you pull it, it, it opens and shuts like a spinnerbait skirt would. Or, and that's the advantage of hair. Now, I know, I see somebody back in the back row back there looking at me like, why are you even using hair to the plastic? Just something different, guys. I got. You're going to see all my videos. I kick fish with different baits. And I'm doing some reviews and how-to on, uh, on different baits. And uh, there's times, especially in cooler water, like in uh, March and April, where a hair jig is better because it'll move better in the water than plastic does, okay? 
but uh, it'll work in warm water as this is also this water 75 right here it'll work here also uh, I was here just the other day and this water right here was 69.7 because they were dumping so much out of Kerr Lake they've lit a bunch out this evening and it's been so hot there I think it's been 88 degrees so the water has really jumped today so that's made the fishing a little tough, and that's the, another reason I decided to use the hair jig this evening. Um, it's a smaller profile than the, than the chunk of plastic. It's skinnier, slimmer, and uh, I thought maybe that would uh, help me get a few bites because I know the fishing is going to be tough. But uh, if you look at this, this in here is uh, moss. I got a green head moss body, and I got a moss and white tail. And see how it's shaped? It's, it's got a menace shape to it, doesn't it? I'm trying to hold where y'all can see it. It's got a menace shape, doesn't it? So, uh, and that's why I'm using the moss, too. It looks like a mena. Uh I hand tie these guys. I tie them my own myself, and I, I can tie by any color you can imagine. Uh, chartreuse and white's hard to beat. I've got some of those, too. Chartreuse and blue. Um, chartreuse and pink. If you like, you know, the pink. Some lakes, the pink and the black does good. Pink and black together, and... Uh, I've, I've even got purple, I mean, orange, yellow. White and yellow does really good too, guys. Come on in here, I don't got you. I got you now. All right, guys, another one here. I'm switching colors, as y'all can see. Just tr trying different colors. This one is uh, white and yellow. He's a small one. Oh yeah, he's a bad one. He's not a bad one. What do y'all think of that one? He's not a bad one. One old hair jig. Let me get down here with the scene. Trying to keep it running. In frame sometimes guys can can be tough. He's about nine inches maybe. Old white and yellow. You noticed I'm I'm jumping colors on you. Alright guys. Got my rod doubled here. Let's see. No, he's not that big. Cause on, I got a light action rod, guys. Y'all know that two pound test. So, y'all seen that thing on some of those big crap? He's doubled in half, wasn't it? That's just a baby. Okay, folks, I'm gonna share with you what I've done. Um, this is a day afterwards, guys. So, if, you, if you're watching this and you're gonna like, I think he's got a different color shirt on, whatever. I do. This is the day after. Sometimes I fish all day and make videos up to dark uh, and after. And I come home and. Sometimes it's the next day. Today it's raining off and on. It's a good day to do this. And I sit down and make the intros and outros for the videos. Uh, this is what I was using. This is what I've tied myself. I tie these myself. Uh, this one, this one's it's white with some yellow in it. I know it's a bright yellow. And I've got some flash of blue. That's just kind of like a silverish blue flash of blue. And guys, I'm throwing this on two pound test because that's a that's a one thirty second ounce head. And some of them I use down to a, a 148 sometimes. So it's two pound test line, seven foot light action. This is that cheap rod uh, shape pyramid. It's called the Micro Series. It's around $18. It does great, guys. You can buy them at Walmart. This is a seven footer. I like the longer rod because I can cast that little jig feather. And this is a Fluger 1000 size reel. It's a present reel. And uh, that's a good little setup for crap. I, I got two of them. I got three of those guys that are the same thing. And I got one on a Wally Marshall rod, y'all have seen. Uh, this this is the other one I was throwing, and I may I just sit down and tie these guys because I lost the one I was using. Uh, you can see it's a moss color, and it has I put white on the bottom, and a little bit of moss color on the top with a little bit of flash of boot. That's what the shiny stuff is, guys. It's flash of boot. Um, this one I put less in. Now the reason I want to share that with y'all real fast is that sometimes the thinner hair is better. See how someone's thicker. I've learned from tying jigs and using them, guys, that some days they want the thinner, the smaller. It's like some days bass want, or, or when you're fishing for bass, they want a 10 inch worm or 8 inch worm, other days you gotta use a 4 inch worm. I found that on crappy fishing too. Sometimes it's too much hair doesn't help. And I, I try not to put too much on That's about as much as I ever use. If you get too thick, you lose, you lose your action. When this thing is pulled through the water, it slims down. Once it gets wet, it pulls down like this. 
And I think I showed that to y'all in the video. It looks like it pulls down to, to like, like a minute, more of a minute shape. And that tail, there's like a plastic tail on a, on a baby shad or anything else or a slab tail. The thinner that hair is on the tail, it don't take anything to move it. So some days you want it to be thinner. But anyway, I hope that helps you. You can catch them on hair jigs. It's fun to tie your own jigs and catch fish on them. You can make any color you want. Uh, you see that one was yellow and white. This is a 16th ounce. You can tie them up as heavy as you want if you're tying your own. And uh, maybe one day I'll sit down in the comments if y'all want me to. I'll do a video on how I tie them and show you some of the colors of material I have. Uh, and you might be interested in getting into it yourself. It's not that expensive to get into. So may I show that with you. My name is Dennis. This is Fishing Lake Country. Please subscribe, guys. It helps you keep up with me. I'm constantly trying to add things that might help you become a better fisherman. See you next time on Fishing Lake Country.